Welcome guys back to the channel. Thank you for stopping by. And well, if you like the stuff I'm posting so far, make sure to subscribe, leave a comment and leave a like. Alright, so today we just want to go through some of the cards that I'm sending for round 2 with uh, PSA and CGC. I know that they are down at the moment, but uh, for CGC side, I probably will send it soon. And as for the PSA side, yeah, I'm just waiting for whatever news that may come. <laughs> Alright, so regardless, it doesn't stop us from trying to catch up on our collection because we do want to get as many cards uh, graded as we can as collection or resale purposes or whatever it may be. So let's get into it. Right, the first one is actually this is the PSA Express uh, CGC. I believe this is uh, CGC as well and this is the PSA stack. Um, because so let's go for the CGC side. Uh, this is actually something that I oh, want in total. Actually, I'm sending about like 176 cards, and yeah, it's just like why not, right? Uh, this is actually the new uh, ancient new promo that I did a live uh, recently, so you can see like everybody's is just here. So the main issue everyone had was that this. Deafening. Uh, I don't know if you can still see it. Uh, some of it is not so obvious, but basically they all suffer a, a ding at the top right. Yeah, you see that? I don't know if you can see that right there and that one right there as well. So yeah, they all suffer it, and it's pretty sad to be honest. Uh, I was uh, having really high hopes for this one that you know, we could potentially get a 10 out of this because these at a 10 is very valuable but seems that's not gonna happen we'll be happy with just a 9 even at a 9, honestly, it's uh, kind of worth the weight and the value itself and of course, we go into the next stack of CGC which is some of my own personal um, things I want to submit which is actually the Charizard Illustrator a lot of it uh, recently, I went and buy all this uh, from the local community because I believe that these in a much more longer term will hold a better value uh, so it's not something that I would say like buy now sell tomorrow uh, and don't worry that's actually on the uh, <laughs> that's on a card saver so that might have scared, scared you a little bit <laughs> but yeah so these are just like for something for me to I don't mind holding a while on like a year or two in fact um, because yeah I just see that it's something very special it's an illustrator and uh, it's only one off right you don't even see it in English it's kind of cool and then we come to this humongous stack of PSA I've got 123 cards over here uh, this is a stack between like English and Japanese and all that so let's go through it this on the left are the English and this one on the right are the Japanese cards I'm sending as you can tell my uh, interests have shifted <laughs> anyway so for these English ones that I'm sending most of the time they are older set cards or some promo cards like this uh, Mew uh, Black Star promo so this came alongside with the ancient Mew I bought like I think a hundred of these and I went through them like one by one. I started to realize like, okay, if you're grader, like, cause I'm, I'm no grader, you know what I mean? I, I'm just looking at it. And just by looking at it, like looking at a hundred cards, right? At some point your eyes are just gonna go blind and you're like, oh, I think this is better than the other one. But then they both have like white spots or whatever, right? So I just want to say that let's try to give PSA and CGC a break because doing this stuff as a day job when your company is just receiving like literal millions of submission, and you don't have enough co-workers to help you out with this you gotta realize at some point that they're doing their best so nothing to complain about them being stopping and whatnot and even like so-called double charging uh, i think it's a fair thing to do like honestly like come on think about it if this this thing costs you like i don't know this, this cost me less than ten dollars right, something like that uh let's say if it was a bulk right, twenty dollars and if i got a nine or ten i i could easily like flip it a few times not even like a 20%, it's like like 2x or 3x of that. Like considering that, right, this what what PSA is doing for you, it's kind of the value, just to be fair. So anyway, uh, moving on. 
so yeah, a bunch of Black Star Muse. These are what I would call the best of the best I can find uh, amongst the stack. I have some Sabrina Abra as well. So the problem with all these Black Star promo at the end of the day, it is an old card. So uh, let me just get one out real quick. Let's take a look. One of the biggest problem, I, I, I do not think that I can get a 10, to be very honest. If I get a 10 out of this stack, I'll be very, very happy. Um, having 9s are kind of expected. So this is some one of the best ones I can find, right? Uh, I don't see any scratches, I don't see any whitenings. Uh, yeah, it's as good as it gets. So. Yeah, imagine trying to find a hundred of it and then trying to see what the tiniest blemishes on a hundred cards. Yeah, so <laughs> it's not it's not exactly like a chilling job. I mean of course if you're someone who is I don't know meticulous and you just like this kind of stuff, then okay, you know. You you got it. Oh another note, um uh on top of like cards like like PSA and CGC getting hammered these card savers are like it's more rare than the actual secret rare in Pokemon like these these things are sold out so hard that I did a pre-order for BCW card savers in what February and I, I saw that on the date it wrote 12 slash 3 slash 2021. So it was in February and my brain told me, oh, that's going to be March 12th. That's awesome. This is one month away. So I ordered it. And as I found out later on, it didn't come. So I was like, oh, I emailed them and said, hey, what's up? They told me it was actually not March 12th. It's December 12th. So imagine how back the order is for these plastic things where you have to like pre-order a year ahead. That's how back order BCW is with all these card savers. And uh, this is Ultra Pro. I had to buy this from a local guy. He had some extra, so that was really nice of him. Who else? Uh, there's another one. Cardboard Gold. Yeah, totally, totally back ordered. Ultra Pro, totally sold out. The best guess, go on to eBay, buy someone literally putting another 20% premium on this stuff. It's just plastic. So my personal opinion is if you really are in a hurry to send for grading, yeah, you know you can go pay the 20%. Because if not, then honestly, just, just wait, man. It's it's just plastic. And honestly, if you can find on like China's Alibaba or Taobao or whatever, just, just go and get it. it there's, nothing, there's nothing special, man. Like It's not like because you put Ultra Pro, you're going to get an extra grade up. It's not. It's, it's just this piece of plastic. Anyway. Sabrina Abra, Black Star promo, it's also very nice. I bought like 10 of these and only two is like worth anything to look at. I saw these, Lunala and Sogalio uh, GXs. I seen this like a few months before. I actually, when I did my eBay video, I think I was looking at one of these Lunala GX. Uh, can't be sure. But anyway, nice cards, cheap enough, uh, good condition. Saw them in a local, uh, local Facebook group uh, selling. By the way, honestly, if you guys are looking for cards, I don't, I, I mean, I don't know what's your play style, but for me, I look in Facebook groups. Local Facebook groups are best. I pull this guy, love it. I love it, love it, love it, love it. I have the Japanese one, I got the English one. If I got them both in PSA 10, I'm gonna be a very, very happy guy. Like, just to me, this art is the most adorable version I could, like, find it, you know. I just love it. So yeah, this is not for sale. This is just for myself to go great and collect. Crobat VMAX, uh, another one that I thought was, it just looks really cool. I love the swirl. I love the shiny, yeah. This is a Frost Moth, probably, right? So I, I actually pulled this. Um, can't, can't tell if you guys can see. Yeah, you can see that. So you can see the see the hollow bleed down here as well. That was really cool. Yeah, might as well. Ditto VMAX again, not shiny, but I still grade it. <laughs> Celebi and Zacian, Amazing Rare, got these um, recently along with Yvelto, Kyogre, so all these Amazing Rare, I think they will have value. Kyogre EX, this is a very interesting uh, story actually, before I got into Pokemon like last year, uh, a few years back, I was hanging around with some friends and they were opening packs with some money they got from some, I can't remember where, like some pay or whatever. Anyway, they opened it and they pulled this guy out and 
this card was the one where I went, oh wow, Pokemon cards looking really, really cool. Like, this card is actually really cool. And today, when I got it again, I was looking at it like, yeah, this is actually a really cool card. I mean, the condition isn't that bad. You know, I might just put this for myself. Yeah, this is a card that really got me thinking about Pokemon, you know, might as well get graded. Golden, is this golden? You call it golden or shiny? Uh, this is very real boom. I have this guy for the longest time, you know, just sell, trying to sell it actually. So, but <laughs> no one seems to be interested in it. So I'm like, okay, you know what? What's looking for grading? Shiny Laugh Press V, pulled this guy, looking real cute, grading it. Charmander, shiny, bought this from a local guy and I thought this is the cutest. <laughs> like, seriously, I really like when, you know, like between this and this, these kind of arts in between, right? You know, you, you just gotta appreciate. It's just the variety of art is really what's making it. Rapid Dash, Galarian, this is cute. I have these, you grab it from the 2016 Evo. I, I know it's not like crazy, but I thought it looks cute enough to hold some value. So, getting it. Pierre's. And Pierre's. <laughs> Two of them. And yeah, just I pulled them both actually. It's like, yeah, why not? Full art trainer should hold some value in my opinion. Getting graded should be a good call. Um, Blastoise EX. Cute. These are basically set cards that I got for a while now. So, Flareon. Uh, these are all like E-series on Doom. And these are in great condition, I'll be honest. Like, it looks great, but if you look under the hood, aka the back. Uh, this one, I remember there was a bit off about it. I think it was the scratches, yeah. Quite sure this one was because of scratch problems. Is there any scratches? Yeah, actually it's a lot, um, if you can see it on the moon, yeah, significant amount of it. So I'm not, I'm not expecting anything magnificent from it, it's a really nice card, I, I really think it's a very beautiful card. This Pidgeot art I thought is so badass, <laughs> I really like this art, like this is like, like Pidgeot is like super dope, I like it. Pikachu Reversal Hollow, why am I creating this? It's Pikachu. Reverse Hollow, why not? I believe this is a base set unlimited. Uh, again, this was actually from a collection that I bought off my friend. I saw it, the condition is quite okay. Charmander as well. There's a Squirtle here, but it's not the full one. And it's an Azumarill as well. This is also from another friend's collection. And I thought, okay, the condition's not so terrible. Uh, it's a Azumarill, might as well. And that's the actual uh, base set uh, Squirtle. And behind it is a War Portal. So these are the English ones, and now we move on to my favorite part, Japanese part. Okay, so we have a lot of full art, so Misty, and okay, these these are like my most recent purchases. And we go, we have uh, the Sabrina Gaze, and the most important thing is the first two are the no rarity ones. Uh, conditions okay, you know, I don't see any epic uh, uh, surface damage or any white thing, so it should be good. Uh, we have three with rarity and then Misty, the band card. This one is um, one of the better conditions when I could find. Unfortunately, I did buy some no rarity ones, but the conditions aren't so great. So I figured it wouldn't uh, be worth it to turn gray. And then these, I just saw them randomly and I thought these are like a very interesting promo. Enjoying them real quick. Now, this is just adorable. <laughs> and I thought, well, the, the the surface is quite nice and the art's really cool. The hollow is crazy, right? Like look at this Pikachu. Look at the hollow, it's just everywhere. It's one of the new ones. So yeah, it's also a first edition as well, apparently. I'm not very sure, honestly. But yeah. So, sending them for grading. Let's see what's up. Uh, this. 
the latest, I believe this is the latest Coral Coral, correct me if I'm wrong, this is the latest Coral Coral uh, promo with our favorite Snorlax, yeah, looking super cool, it's great, and then we have two adorable Snorlax from the Shiny Savi, it's Shiny Savi right, yeah, Shiny Savi, it's just the most adorable art around, I think adorable arts will hold some value, and we are, uh, this is from uh, Delta, this is from uh, the previous stack that I sent, I looked at it again, I was like, eh, might as well. This is a CD promo as well, I cannot remember his name, I don't know why. Uh, anyway, uh, PGR, Sakart from the older days, the days, hey no, oh, this is the newer days. Oh, why did I send this? Hmm, yeah, this is the new edition one. But anyway, Nine Tail. And hey, come on, shop Pikachu. So it's a mix of like different, uh, let's say between promo and set cards. Couple tops. I really, really like this art. Couple tops. This art is super cool. And I believe this particular card is an old bag. Yeah, it's an old bag. scratches yeah so you see how like you reflect on it right and then you can see like only his head is like you know uh it's there super cool i really like it anyway moving on so a full stack of um the illustrator again so i think there is about let's see three six nine twelve fifteen 18, about 18 of them if you're sending to PSA I think I'm sending about 19 over there to CGC so it's about 30 to 40 in total yeah. it's quite a number but I believe that it's for long term so I'm cool anyway moving on more Charizards this is basically the Charizard sector I have this for the longest time I'm try to sell it no one seems to be interested no it's okay I'll just sell them I'll just go get them graded Next one, we got these really, really adorable Hollow Mew. Some of these are just set cards and Gyarados set cards, Kyogre set cards, set cards. I just, I just think that the the Hollow looks really cool. I always like the um, the silver frame. Yeah, I think you call that call it the frame, right? Um, yeah, it's just, it just looks really cool. Like, look at this Articuno. This Articuno looks absolute badass, and it fits the. The silver frame so well so you know coco i have this from the when the movie came out uh, i have a bunch of the promos coming in and i you know i thought of selling it and i was like eh you know what i'll just create it myself <laughs> i like it more anyway got a bunch of these secret energy and i didn't know what to do with them um because you get them from this um what was that called? Tag Team All Stars. So just got them, and I was like, "What do I want to do?" <laughs> got a full art here uh, from Gold Star, and I got this one. This is super cool. Dark Cry Umbreon. Do you call it Hyper Rare? In, uh, yeah, Hyper Rare HR. Yeah. So super cool. I love it. I actually pulled this, so pretty happy about it. Pulled this as well. Mimikyu Gengar. Charizard. And Braxton. Braxton. Brayson. Braxton or Brayson? I don't. Sometimes I, I don't really know how to pronounce it, but yeah, really like this art. It, it gives a very, very, I don't know, super, super like festive vibe. I don't know, I don't know why I say festive, but it really feels like that. A bunch of these trio birds, trio birds across the board. Why so many trio birds? Well, actually, because I, I bought a lot, like as in I again, uh, a l o t like a lot of these. So I was like, ah, might as well send up a grading. So another stack here. So this, I believe, will be the other ancient muse that we'll be sending as well. So a lot of these. Yeah, someone bought like four or five of them. So it's really cool that um, people buy. And yeah, let's see what's the condition of this guy here. I believe this one will... Yeah, do you see that? Yep, I think with the glare you should be able to see just fine. Okay. It's really like <laughs> disheartening. Like the way to go off of this I was getting really excited and then like when it came to oh my gosh, seriously? All of them? And it was like all of them. 
so painful. I'm not sure what happened, maybe like when they um, received the stock, they already had the problem. Or whatever it is, can't control it, right? So finally comes PSA Express. So these five cards are something that I looked online and I realized that they have the, val the value is a little bit higher. So I can't even send them for bulk even if I want to. So I'm just send them over here. Uh, the first one is Mari. So this card, uh, I believe they just launched it on the English side. It's going to be a promo card alongside with the Autograph Marnie in one pack, like one promo. And the promo is like a, a doggy bag, you know, like a paper bag where you roll up and it's like that. I was like, what, what is that? Like, this is such a cool art. And then like, you just threw it there like it's nothing. I was like, just wasting it. So, yep, I think that the Japanese one will be way more valuable. So I'm sending it to great. And then we also have tourists here, absolutely beautiful. And look at this one, haha. <laughs> The most adorable Pikachu ever. <laughs> I, I still can't really get his name right. Omayashu? I think I probably butchered it. Or wrong. And kaboom! Holo, the E series, Gengar. This guy is absolutely amazing. So, um, I got this again uh, from a friend's collection. And uh, yeah, just gonna send it off. and. Hopefully you get a good grade. I don't think it'll be a good grade to be honest because there are some problems with it. For example, there are surface scratches. I've checked the back before and I think I've seen... Uh, I don't know if you can see it. Where the tip of my fingernail is. There is a white spot right there. So other than that, I mean there are some visible you know, problems but I'm not going to complain. If I do get it, I'm very happy. Whatever grey comes back in. I'm just happy to even have it. And finally, Blastoise. So, uh, this one came along with the rest of them. So this is a base set unlimited as well. Um, I don't expect a PSA 10 out of this. Honestly don't. Like, maybe an 8? An 8 would be really good. I'll be very honest. Like, I believe that they, they had some hollow scratches on the surface as well. So yeah. I'm really enjoying this whole uh, hunting for uh, value cards and sending them for grade and then just like crossing your fingers like crossing your fingers for like a year <laughs> to see what comes back I wanted to play the game and then I realized that uh, personally I'm not on the level where I can find myself finding the time to do it unfortunately but I have the time to guard the web you know find deals and buy cards that I like. It's, uh, that's what I did before for shoes and I just do it again for cards because cards are just more interesting and they actually get to retain value if you get them graded. Uh, compared to shoes, it's if you don't if you don't flip them and you store them, they will deteriorate in value. So it's pretty uh, pretty hard to make it sustainable to be honest. Anyway, so this is all the all the cards that I'll be sending in. I hope you guys enjoyed it. What cards are you going to send when PSA opens up? Leave it in the comments. All right. Well, anyway, thank you so much for sticking around. Uh, if you like this video, obviously drop a comment and you know subscribe to the channel. Thank you all so much. Have a good day.